what according to you is the most critical aspect of gender diversity that needs to be stressed today yeah you see firstly i think india has one of the largest uh, gender diversity gaps of uh, any country in the world uh, and we also have by implication one of the largest opportunities in fact uh, as per the mckinsey global institute report uh, we could add about 800 billion dollars to india's gdp by 2025 by bridging the gender parity gap if you look at india today um, we have only about 18% of our gdp that is uh, that is driven by women and only about 25% of our women uh, population actually is in the workforce and uh, if you look at our research findings uh, we could cover 70% of that incremental gdp opportunity by increasing women participation in the workforce by about 10% So I think that's a very large opportunity ahead of us. Uh, and another piece of work that McKinsey did in 2017 on on uh, why women matter, uh, we found that uh, if you look at corporations that have higher representation of women in their senior executive positions and uh, board positions, actually have uh, on average better financial performance than uh, those organizations that don't. So I think there's a real business case for corporations to look into it. and finally uh, i want to share some thoughts on what are the five or six levers that can be pulled by corporations i think first like everything else in life what gets measured uh, gets done so i think uh, there's an opportunity for corporations to set some realistic targets around where they want to get to for example at mckinsey we are endeavoring this year to get 50% of our recruiting intake globally is going to be women second is really around sponsorship and mentorship programs because one of the biggest determinants of making women successful is having passionate sponsors who create opportunities for them third is really flexible uh, arrangements flexible working arrangements fourth is child care infrastructure and support fifth is really investments in what i call uh, gender sensitization uh, in work environments and the last one i would say is in fact investing in coaching and development of women women colleagues because many of them uh, uh, you know need to need need to overcome some of their own unconscious biases uh, as they compete in this world and i think the training by the way extends to both male and female because the unconscious biases uh, exist across both genders thank you